Kaduna is at the moment under a drugs to down curfew imposed by the state government as people continue to mourn after the latest killings in the area. The mood in the city notwithstanding, thousands of the inhabitants line up the major streets to welcome President Muhammad Buhari as he arrived to identify with them at this trying moment. The Nigerian leader was, however, more concerned about the restoration of sustainable peace in Kaduna and other parts of the country, saying the wanton killings must stop. The federal security agencies will hunt and prosecute all those who sponsor these acts of violence. The federal government will take the strongest measures possible to punish perpetrators of these crimes. If in the past they got away scot free, we shall now hold everyone to account for these latest killings. The president said more security assets are to be recruited and deployed across Nigeria towards ensuring that citizens are protected while going about their lawful businesses as well as to reinforce the authority of the government. Let it be clear to all that individuals and communities have obligation to comply with the law and uphold peace. These obligations include respecting the rights of others to worship freely and to assure lawful livelihoods anywhere in this country. We are doing our best to develop human capital and to address poverty and inequality in all parts of the country. While warning community leaders against shielding criminal elements in their domains, President Buhari also directed the Nigeria police to remain vigilant in securing communities, saying laxity will no longer be condoned. From now onwards, the Nigerian police will better watch it. I'm going to watch you closer. President Buhari, who paid tribute to the late Agum Adara, Dr. Maiwada Galadima, whom he eulogized for serving his chiefdom with dedication, promised to revisit the issue of compensation and resettlement of victims of the 2011 post-election violence. Governor Nasser Ahmed El Rufai, who commended President Buhari for tremendously supporting efforts at maintaining peace and security in the state, said what they are now battling in Kaduna is the legacy of nearly 40 years of violence and impunity. He, however, said during the latest incident, where more than 70 people lost their lives, Christians and Muslims were seen giving refuge to each other in moments of peril, indicating that at last the forces of peace and order will prevail. Our community should reject and marginalize the few criminal elements that indulge in violence. Let there be a resolve to deny criminals any hiding place. Let no criminal be allowed to find succor in tribe or faith. Both the Emir of Zazau, Alaji Sheo Idris, and the representatives of Muslim and Christian communities in Kaduna State were full of appreciation to Governor El Rufai for the way and manner he responded to the crisis which they described as unfortunate and regrettable. The religious leaders should preach peace, love, unity, and tolerance. We condemn all the killings that have been going on. I will condemn the attitude of those who are responsible. We are for peace and will continue to advance the, the cause for peace. President Muhammad Buhari has since returned to Abuja. In Abuja, Adamu Sambu, NTA News.